Matt McClung was known as one of the best high school dunkers in really history, but then he went to college and we haven't heard much from him since. And today, I'm just here to explain to y'all his story. So what's good y'all, it's Matt LBG and we are back with another story video. If y'all are new to my channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. And without further ado, let's get into the video, man. If you have clicked on this video, I assume you know who Matt McClung is and what he is known for. But if not, let's do a brief recap. Matt McClung was known in high school for throwing down insane dunks and really dropping off people and he could even shoot. He was going viral all over the internet, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, any type of social media you can think of. He was on and things were looking great for this man he was getting hyped up and he was committed to a d1 college and not only d1 he was committed to a very high prestigious college known as georgetown but he hasn't always had this hype and this great success so let's throw it all the way back to where things started matt mcclung is from gate city virginia a very small city and he attended gate city high school where he led the school and i said led the school i didn't mess up i mean he literally led the school he brought them so much publicity like I said earlier, he was really a phenomenon and everybody was trying to get videos of this man. Believe it or not, Matt McClung actually played football and baseball, but during his middle school years, he decided to make the switch over to basketball and ever since then, his life hasn't been the same. Think about that, he didn't even play basketball like non-stop, he was playing baseball and football. So that just shows you how good he got in a short period amount of time. He was always known as a smaller kid and could be considered a late bloomer, but his senior year in high school, he was listed as 6'2", 175 pounds. That's pretty solid. Whenever McClung made the decision to switch over to basketball completely, he became obsessed with dunking. His dedication to learning how to dunk and do crazy dunks to go along with that helped him develop a freakish jumping ability. And it's not only that he can jump high, this man has a lot of hang time. He can hang in the air and do crazy layups as well. And as you know, going along with that jumping ability, you just casually secondhand have that explosiveness. In high school, he could get to the rim and even in college, he can get to the rim at will and whenever he wants. Mr. Matt McClung exploded to stardom on social media with a clip showcasing his dunking ability in a pickup game and the clip blasted all over social media and even made it on ESPN. And the crazy thing is it wasn't even an in-game dunk, it was just in practice. And ever since he got that attention, he didn't let it go. And these are not just your normal one-handed dunks, two-handed dunks. He's going in between the legs, pulling off backwards dunks, and even jumping over people. And one thing about dunks like that, they really bring the crowd to life and it's awesome to see and it's just cool to have on mixtapes and since he can jump high he's extremely explosive so his dunks look powerful he wound up scoring over 3,000 points in his high school career which is a crazy achievement and he recently broke Allen Iverson's record for most points scored in a season. Despite all these achievements, he has remained humbled and has not let the fame get to his head at all. He signs autographs for all of his fans and takes pictures with people because he's used to being in that position. Me personally, I really think this guy's a humble guy and you just really never see him talk trash and he just loves the game. When he throws down a crazy dunk or does a great play, you can see the fire in his eyes. To go along with all this, Max High School coach Coach even goes on to say in an overtime interview, Mac always wanted to put Gate City on the map. And I guess you could say he got them on the map because he got them on ESPN Sports Center and every big hoop mixtape and YouTube films. With all these great achievements, he wound up committing to the University of Georgetown. Now, just like any high school star, when they get to that next level, it's hard to adapt. Very few of your high school stars go to the next level and just adapt right away. It's really, and I mean really rare. His first year at Georgetown, he showed great flashes of his explosiveness, but he didn't put up 40 points a game like he did in high school. He had great moments here and there, but he also had bad moments here and there. He looked like a solid freshman, but he definitely has a lot of room for improvement at the next level. One thing that helps him is he has a jump shot. He can shoot. People think this guy's just a dunker or just a guy who drives to the goal. He can shoot the ball. He just got to learn the next level. Once he learns how to play at the next level, I think this guy will thrive and I definitely think he has a chance to go play in the NBA. Even though he is only 6'2", about 180, that doesn't really hurt him that well. As long as you can shoot the ball, you will be fine. As of right now, this is his second year going into Georgetown and he's having a pretty solid season. I think if he has a good year his sophomore season, then his junior year has a great year. I think he could go to the draft after his junior year 
or even play all four years, then go to the draft. But hey man, only time will tell, so I guess we gotta see. I definitely think this guy is a great guy, and not only that, a great person, and I am definitely going to be rooting for him and keeping up with him. I wish him and his family the best, and I guess we'll see what happens from here. But hey man, with all of this being said, that's about gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys learned something. If you're new to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. And with all this being said, one, four, three. I'm at LBG. The LBG stands for Let's Be Great. One, four, three. I'm out, y'all. Peace.